negatively affects people's health more than anything else. Alcohol, cigarettes, the donut, hamburger. Sure, they're all pretty bad for you, but most people know that and at least try to limit their intake somewhat to these items, even a little bit. But it's the things we don't think about that can really cause damage. Things we use every day so regularly we don't even think about how its constant use could actually be killing us. The real culprit is the chair. We were given legs for a reason. Most third world cultures don't even have chairs and they walk an average of 10 miles a day. We in the modern world, on the other hand, spend most of our entire waking day sitting down. People go right from bed to sitting on the toilet, after which they sit at the breakfast table, then they sit in a car as they drive to work and spend the entire day sitting at a desk, only getting up to sit in the toilet and in the cafeteria. Then they sit in the car to drive and sit at the local bar for happy hour. Then when they've had enough of that, they go drive home and spend the rest of the day sitting in a comfortable chair watching TV before they crawl to bed to recover from all the physical exertion that day. And when people go out, they sit at a restaurant or a movie theater. Sitting all day is far worse for you than you might think. A 2010 American Cancer Society study following over 123,000 people from 1993 to 2016 found these alarming results. People who were inactive and sat for over six hours a day were 94% more likely to die during the time period studied than those who were physically active and sat less than three hours a day. That's almost 100%. And get this, findings were independent of physical activity levels. The negative effects of sitting were just as strong in people who exercised regularly. 60%, that's over half of employees surveyed, were convinced they would be more productive if they had the option to work on their feet. Medical experts have started referring to long periods of physical inactivity and its negative consequences as sitting disease. Below this video are links to an endless list of medical studies showing physical inactivity and low fitness are serious threats to cardiovascular health. Even with a low body fat index, sitting has been linked to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Studies showing differences in brachial and femoral artery responses to prolonged sitting. Studies showing reducing sedentary time may protect DNA. Sedentary lifestyle has been linked to depression. How sitting less increases muscle mass. Multiple studies linking diabetes to inactivity and sitting. Cells in idle muscles don't respond well to insulin, so the pancreas produces more and more, leading to diabetes. And how five minutes of standing every half hour can improve glucose metabolism and really help postmenopausal women who are pre-diabetic. Blood pressure drops when standing compared to sitting. A Cornell University study found that sitting more than one hour induces biochemical changes in lipoprotein lipase activity, that's an enzyme involved in fat metabolism, and glucose metabolism leading to deposits of fats in adipose tissue rather than being metabolized by muscle, and increases heart attack risk, coronary heart disease, and kidney disease. This happens in both fit people who do regular aerobic activity and also also unfit overweight people. This means regular exercise does not cancel out these effects of sitting the rest of the day. Sitting a lot is asking for trouble, no matter who you are. Another study at the University of South Carolina found that men who reported more than 23 hours a week of sedentary activity had a 64% greater risk of dying from heart disease than those who reported less than 11 hours a week. And many of these men routinely exercised. Cholesterol, blood sugar, triglycerides, diabetes, heart disease, and a number of health problems all became apparent. Studies have linked sitting to a greater risk for colon, breast, and endometriosis cancers. Sitting for long periods of time can cause blood clots to form which can travel to the brain causing a stroke. Speaking of blood clots, lungs are twice as likely to develop pulmonary embolisms. Lack of physical activity leads to hypertension, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, snoring, compression of spinal discs, herniated lumbar discs. The Washington Post reported sitting a lot also causes leg disorders, varicose veins, swollen ankles, deep vein thrombosis, muscle degeneration, hip pain, and worst of all, a limp sagging rear end because the glute muscles not only don't get used, circulation is cut off from the weight of the whole body pushing down on it. Medical News Today announced that our chairs are slowly but surely killing us.
The links to all these studies are listed below this video. So what do we do? We have to work, right? Well, the first thing to have to look at, obviously, is our desk. It's actually becoming commonplace in many offices, factories, and even schools globally to switch to standing desks. They even have desks that instantly adjust from sitting to standing position and back down again as needed. Just Google standing desks and you'll get all kinds of companies. I myself use standing desks to do my video editing and even have a treadmill desk for doing my office work and online stuff. I find this much more effective than the bicycle desk I have for working on the computer. Even though my legs are moving, you're still sitting and the leg muscles are not supporting the weight of the body. And this is why being on our feet is so important and effective. The act of standing requires all kinds of muscles to keep us from falling over. Muscles all over our body are constantly adjusting, tightening and loosening to keep us balanced. From our feet, to our legs, to our torso, arms and neck. That's thousands of muscles, big ones, little ones, constantly working to keep us from falling over. And all this work requires energy, which of course comes from our food and fat, which doesn't get used if we sit around all day. So do as much as what you normally do standing up if you can. And if you can't, stand up every half hour for five minutes. Even if you don't do much, just stand up. And if you really want to get things moving, do some squats. And I don't mean three or five, I mean 20 or 30. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. Throw out the TV and do more yard work. Clean up the house more. Do more repairs. Go to the park. Walk down the street or just stand around. Anything. You are not designed to sit. You are designed to be upright. Half your body is legs. They are there for a reason. Use them. If you value your life, get off your ass.